my name is Dave Ford and in this video I'm going to show how we can manipulate an image to create a magnified section of that image. So in this example here I've got an image of a person who is abseiling and what I've then got is a zoomed in section of the harness and the person's hands and the rope which is the bit that may be of most interest to this particular teaching resource. Now the advantage of having the zoomed in section is they can then see the bigger picture as in where it fits into the sort of the bigger picture or the bigger context but the actual focus is on the bit that has been highlighted. So the steps to do this. First of all I've got my first image that's going to stay as it is but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a copy of it. Now control and D is a shortcut for duplicate or you could do copy and paste. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to go to picture format and I'm going to crop the image so that I have the bit that I want and I'm just doing this in PowerPoint so I've now got a smaller section I'm going to move it to one side so I can see what I'm doing I'm then going to enlarge the image just by dragging on a corner so that that bit is bigger now remember if you enlarge it too much it will pixelate so this works better if you're starting with a reasonably high resolution image and then in this case I want to make it look like a magnifying glass so I'm going to kind of turn it into a circle so I've got the image selected I'm going to go to my picture format ribbon and then I've got the various options one of which is metal oval well that seems to do quite a good job so I'm going to just click on that and then I can drag that image in and if necessary I can just resize it a little bit make sure you always resize from corners if you resize from an edge you'll distort the image so you've always got to resize from a corner when you're working like this. And that's how you can create a magnified section.